Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Um, I thought I'd talk today about supplements. I did a video yesterday about my diet and um, how I stay healthy at my age. And what I do, I talked a lot about water and diet. And now I want to mention supplements because there's a lot of people like, for instance, in the raw food movement and they just don't want any supplements. And they think supplements are bad. And if you supplement, you're some kind of a phony or whatever. And I, there's a lot of misconceptions about what supplements are, what they can do for you. I call myself Mr. Supplement because I take a ton of su supplements. And if you really understood them and what and the way I take them, you'd understand, yeah, hey, this is a really w good way to do things. So supplements, um, for instance, let's just start with like probiotics or digestive supplements. <clears throat> so I take something like a full dige full spectrum digestive enzyme. This is really good for your digestion. I take something called Saccharomyces boulardii. That's a that's a different type of probiotic. It's actually a yeast. That's a really good one. Uh, and then, of course, I take a probiotic, you know, friendly bacteria. That's another good one. I take apple cider vinegar for my uh, for a powder for my digestion. Really good to take for your digestion. It does other things, too. It's got acetic acid. So um, that's just one example of the supplements that I take. And, be, and I take them because, um, you know, you really can't find these out these nutrients in any foods that are out there in high concentrations. For instance, this is a good example would be ashwagandha. So ashwagandha, you can go out and get ashwagandha root and you can grind it up and you can take it and it'll make you feel a little bit better or whatever. But if you really want to get something out of it and really say this is what I'm getting, um, you know, this is going to really help me, you want the willithinoids and you're going to do that through an extraction process. Mm -hmm. And um, and you do that by concentrating it down, so you end up with like a one percent willithinoid, two percent, five percent. It goes up. The, I think the, I've seen it on the market for over twenty percent. Maybe it even goes higher. I don't know. But um, the point is, is that you would have to eat. You know, I don't know how much ashwagandha. Uh, how how much you would have to take of this of to really get the effects of just taking say four or five capsules. Same with like bacopa. Uh, bacopa is like a little flower and people grow. Same thing. You really need to take a lot of this to be able to get to feel it and to get the effects of it. Um, so that's another example of herbal extracts. Um, ginkgo biloba is another one. Um, you would have to take huge amounts of ginkgo. It would taste terrible. It does taste terrible. Um, but you can put a small amount in a capsule and take it and you'd have to take, uh, you can take a relatively small amount of bacopa or ginkgo. Uh, ginkgo biloba. We got something called 24-6, and that's the you know the amount of uh, you know these ginkgo ginkosides that are extracted out of it. You really get those in, in incredibly concentrated forms. Uh, another thing, for instance, turmeric. Now I like to juice turmeric. Uh, you take the roots and juice them down and just drink it. That's really good. But um, you know if you want to take turmeric, uh, you really are looking for an element in there called cur curcumin. So curcumin is that stuff that's really bright orange. And you take that, and then you really get the effect of, of, of turmeric without having to juice it or ta eat a bunch of it or anything like that. So I take a lot of supplements. Another one I'd like to take right before I go to bed is Makuna, Makuna um, Purians. Makuna Purians, I do about a 15% extract. That's L-Dopa. That's probably the one that I, th I think it's the most valuable herb in the world. And the reason is is because it's got this huge amount of... Um, L-dopa, and, it, and it's the only herb that I, I'm aware of that actually can help the body produce HGH, human growth hormone, which is produced about an hour after physical exercise and maybe uh, uh, two hours after REM sleep. So, you know, you really are able to get this, uh, you know, really this this uh, incredible herb, this, this great, um, you know, nutrient that is able to produce um, HGH, human growth hormone, in the brain. Well, that's what keeps you young. As a, so it's another good example of it. Now, when I wake up in the morning, I take something called magtine, magnesium L-threonate. And um, this is the only type of magnesium that crosses the brain-blood barrier. Magnesium really, really important for your body. Uh, there's all sorts of different forms of it. Some are more absorbable than other, uh, uh, other forms. Um, but I take magnesium oxide because you want it for the brain. That that helps feed the brain. Okay, you really need magnesium. It helps stave off, you know, dementia and Alzheimer's. These kind of diseases. Um, so I take that right when I wake up in the morning, right before I go to bed. 
Um, another thing I take, of course, is bromelain. That bromelain is really good. It's a, you know an enzyme. Now that comes from pineapple. You could sit there and eat every day. We're going to get a pineapple every single day and eat this and eat this and eat this and get bromelain. This is a really a very inexpensive and a very very high quality type of enzyme. When I say high quality, it really works well in the body. It brings down inflammation. Um, it does all sorts of things for the body as well. But you know, again, bromelain very inexpensive to just go out and get it. Um, another one I take horses is serapeptase. I take serapeptase, this comes, it's kind of a long story where it comes from. Originally it came from the silkworm, but we ferment it. So serapeptase, again, really amazing. You gotta take that in an empty stomach along with natokinase on an empty stomach. And uh, that gets down into the lower GI. It helps reduce blood pressure. It re reduces inflammation. So you know, these are the things you just can't go out into nature and find all these things. You can't live on a raw food diet and expect to get all these incredible benefits from these these supplements. And um, you know, we could go on all day about what are the supplements that are out there and everything. But I just want to sit here and make the case for supplements in general and just say, look. Um, you know, you, when you supplement your, your, your health with something, uh, you know, for instance, you're taking some vitamin C or you're taking vitamin D. Um, you know, vitamin D can be kind of hard to get, um, you know, in the winter because if you still don't have any sunlight. Vitamin C, one of the most useful nutrients we can possibly have is ascorbic acid. It really does all sorts of things. It produces, it, it helps, uh, you know, really, uh, um, you know, build the immune system. It does all sorts of things throughout the body. Um, you know, you could go out and get it some fr fr from fruit, um, you know, vitamin C, uh, you know, oranges, citrus has got it. There's all sorts of, you know, passion fruits, fruits got it. But, you know, and that's great. I mean, I eat fruit every single day. I know I get a lot of, I know I'm getting these vitamins from other sources, but to be able to supplement with it, it really knows, then it's a water-soluble supplement, so you really can't take too much. That's really great for cancer. It's another thing for, for that one. So we could go on all day with these different types of supplements because there's thousands and thousands of them out there. But uh, it'd be so hard to find these things in, and, um, in, and then put them into your diet and, and eat them and get sufficient amounts. Uh, another one I take is uh, my, my Nutritonic Ultra. What that is, um, it's got uh, something called Alpha GPC. Well, that's a choline. That's, that's a fat that feeds the brain. That stuff is a rock star. You, you would never, you, you know, you'd have to go out and eat a lot of different food or you'd have to eat eggs. I'm a vegan. Um, you'd have to, you'd have to get the choline to get that fat and get it into your brain. But with the Samalpha GPC, uh, especially the one I have, which they call 98%, um, you, you know, it's like a cup of coffee. It just wakes you right up. It's really, um, really amazing stuff. And, of course, it's natural. Phosphatidylserine is another one. It's a type of a, of a choline. And uh, it really helps the brain to, uh, to function, to concentrate, to focus very, very well. Where are you going to get that out in nature? So when you get really high-quality supplements, um, you know, I get some amino acids in there. Um, they're not a huge part of it, or vitamin B6, and it's converted, so it goes into the brain immediately. So supplements really are this, we're living in this age now where you can go down to the supermarket, get hundreds and hundreds of different types of food, and fresh foods, fresh produce, and something we could never do in human history before because, you know, I mean, we just didn't have these supermarkets where all this food was sitting there. And there it is now, and it's brought in from all over the world, and um, like this time of year is the cherry season. Well, you know, again, uh, you'd have to live 100 years ago or 200 years, you'd have to live, you know, right the place where they produce the cherries, and you might get some brought out to you. It'd probably be rotten by the time they get here. So, so you can do that, and then we live in this age of supplements, and it's just so valuable to go out and get all these supplements that I take. So, um, and you could never have gotten this in any time in human history. So I'm able to take my health up to this incredible level where, you know, I feel, I'm energetic, I feel great, I'm 66 years old, um, I don't feel like, you know, I'm on my last legs or anything like that. I'm clear thinking, you know, full of energy every single day, I just great. Now, of course, I exercise, very, very important to exercise every single day, um, you know, and get adequate rest. But, um, you know, again, I look at food in a certain way. Look at my other video about food. But for supplements, you know, you really can take your, your health to a level that, um, that you've never seen before. Another good example, of course, is spirulina and chlorella, two types of algae. Um, one's a cyanobacteria. But these, are, I wrote a whole book on this, by the way, and uh, about spirulina and chlorella. 
and uh, you have people call them supplements. They're really foods in, in tablet form. But you know, where could you ever have gotten this before? So th these are the most two. Uh, you know, broad, it has the broadest array of nutrients of any food. The more the most con nutritionally dense foods in the world. Where could you have gotten that? You know, hundred years ago. Well, you you it'd be so difficult because you'd have to go out and grow it. Well, you'd have to grow the spirulina. You know, and is it really uh, you know f contaminated or not? Well, now we can test it and we know what's in the spirulina is it got BMAA this is an amino acid it's got a big long name to it if it, that's in there it can cause you real problems it give you ALS but we know it's not in there because we test for it microcystin same thing uh, we look for heavy metals that are found in chlorella and spirulina we can look for we can test for those things well so we're in this golden age in this amazing time where we can put things in our body such as supplements such as raw foods and have this level of health, health we never would have dreamt of Really, I think, uh, you know, 100 years ago. So uh, take advantage of it. Take advantage of the supplements. Get to know them. Um, look around on the Internet. It's worth you. There's nothing more important uh, in your life than your health other than your relationship with God. And that's my opinion. And you got to take care of your health so you can take care of your family and those around you. I mean, if you're sick, they got to take care of you. So you got to keep yourself healthy. That's the kind of way I look at it. So... Um, this is what we do by getting these uh, these foods and uh, the other video I made and now these supplements. I just wanted to uh, kind of get that out there because there's so much confusion about supplements and you're just sitting around taking supplements all day. Um, you know, here I'm talking Tonkat Alley. It's an incredible supplement. I mean, it's, uh, it's for testosterone. It does other things as well, but mainly it's got something called Uricom. You know, they've been using this for centuries and making a tea out of it but now we're able to concentrate it down and you take one one little uh you know a capsule and you can feel the effects all day so um it's out there and they're out there and you need to get out there and take advantage of them you know europe they don't do supplements europe yeah i think they kind of get this mentality against supplements number one number two uh, you know, the government doesn't, the EU doesn't really like that, so they kind of made them difficult. To, they don't take supplements, and that's to their uh, disadvantage and to their detriment as far as I'm concerned, because supplements are amazing things, and I do call myself Mr. Supplement because I take so many of them, but I know what I'm doing with them. I'm just taking them down, this and this and this. I know how to, how to use them. So anyway, that's what my spiel is. That's what my take is on supplements. Um, I hope you use them. I hope you have um, really great health because, like I said, it's the second most important thing. you got to take care of your health. Otherwise, you won't be here. You can't do things. Dr. Bob, I'll see you guys next time.